he said to him, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced if someone should rise from the dead. Luke 16.31 Jesus told the story of a rich man who enjoyed the pleasures of this world, indulging the flesh with fine clothing and rich food. He had no compassion for those who were poor and suffering. Right at his gate was a poor man who longed for even the scraps of food from the rich man's table. Both the rich man and the poor man named Lazarus died. The rich man went to Hades, but he could see Lazarus by Father Abraham's side. The rich man was tormented and had great concern that his five remaining brothers might end up in Hades too. He asked Abraham if someone could go and warn his brothers through a miracle of someone coming from the dead. Abraham answered, If they are deaf to Moses and the prophets, they will not be led to believe, even if someone should rise from the dead. All scripture is God-breathed, 2 Timothy 3.16. Therefore, the power to bring conviction can be found in every part of the word. Scripture has the ability to convict the reader. Therefore, Scripture has the power to turn a sinner from his sins. But a person can make a choice to harden their heart by ignoring the truth of God's Word. When this happens, even when they witness a miracle right before their eyes, it will not make a difference. They will hold tightly to their own understanding of life. Romans 10, 17. So faith comes from hearing, and hearing by the word of Christ. Dear Father, fill our hearts with compassion for those who still have not come to faith in Christ Jesus. Help us to remember that their conviction by the word will most likely come as they see us live out our belief in the word. Strengthen us to show love in supernatural ways toward them. Keep us prayerful. Let us play a vital part in opening their eyes to your awesomeness. As you provided the way for us to experience your love, please do the same for them through us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.